Hi, Corey. Uh, so tell me how you've been using the Esri Business Continuity Solution. Yeah, so as director of the Atlantic region for Esri Canada, we've got uh, three office locations. We've got about 17 personnel working in those offices. Um, some of them are from some of our national teams, such as our training team or our technical support team. And we really wanted to get away to, to look at the status of people. Uh, throughout the workday. And part of the challenge is this solution got released uh, 1st of April. We wanted to get our hands on it from the perspective of if any customers were asking us about it, we, we had some familiarity with it. But as we did that, we felt we could use this for our own purpose to have one one way to sort of get a status of, of the personnel in the region and when they're working and when they're not and where they're working from. So it, it allows us to um, get that one view in a dashboard Instead of having to search in several different systems, we have Outlook that we use. We're starting to onboard with Teams quite a bit. We have Cisco Jabber. We've got a number of systems that people are maintaining their, their work status. And this just gave us a one simple way to, to put it all in one dashboard. Oh, that's good. So let's have a look. So this is a look at the dashboard. And this is what you get uh, right when you deploy the solution. The only thing that we've really changed here, of course, is the title and some of the wording, but also the color scheme. Um, the rest of it is what gets deployed um, sort of out of the box with the business continuity solution. And you can see here, I can immediately tell who's working uh, from where. And we can see the, the individuals who have checked in uh, using a form and, and what their status is. So this allows me to go in here. I, I check this several times a day to see who's working when. I can filter on people's status. So one of the most common ones is when I want to see who's absent. If I'm looking to have a meeting or a discussion with someone, I'll, I'll quickly come here. So with that, to, to populate this, it's, it's pretty simple. What we did was we asked um, our staff to fill out this, this form anytime their status changes, really. And this is just a form that comes with, with the solution that gets deployed. And it just asks a series of questions. So if I'm not working today, I just I would select no. And then there's a couple COVID related health questions that are optional that people can answer if they want. And then I just submit this survey and it populates the dashboard. If I am working today, it has some follow on questions. So it asks me um, where I'm working from. Most of the responses to date are temporarily working from home. Um, as we can start to go back to the workplace, that'll start to change to normal working location. And in that case, we'll want to know where, uh, which of the three office people are, are working from. We'll also start to want to know if people are going to have any close contact uh, with anyone as they're in the office, so whether it's one of their colleagues or maybe someone from the building uh, that might be into the office that day. Uh, we want to capture that as well, because as we mentioned before, this is this is maintaining history. The other component of the solution that gets deployed is around our facilities. So this is the dashboard again, completely out of the box, just just the color scheme we changed here. And this is just facility reports on each of our offices, in this case, in the Atlantic region. So we've got three offices, one in Halifax, one in Fredericton, and one in St. John's. Um, and this is just a quick snapshot of, of the status of each of those facilities. And if we look at, again, we maintain history. Uh, right now, there, there's not a lot of history in here, but this will start to change as we start to um, uh, move into going back to the office as the public health rules allow us to do that. We also see a map here of each of our facilities so we can see um, the one in Fredericton, St. John's and Halifax. And if I just uh, click on one of those, it gives me a lot of key information about that particular facility. So it gives us the address or our operating hours, tells us the capacity, the working capacity of the personnel within that office. Uh, it lets us know some information about the facility itself. So the number of people that are in there today, um, it tells us whether the entrance is staff, whether it's a secured building, whether the access is secured and restricted. So just some key metrics on the building facility itself that we can start to plan for as we're looking to, to go back to the office um, as the, the rules and regulations are, are starting to get uh, sure. eased up a little bit here. The nice thing about the solution is this is all shared back with the team. So this is a view that I use, but everybody on the team has access to these dashboards so they can also see what the status is of, of their colleagues and the other personnel in the offices, especially as we start to go back and, and multiple people, people may be in the office, everybody will have a view of who's going to be there. So the nice thing here too is we're, we're looking at this from an Atlantic region 
view um, within New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and Newfoundland in this particular case, but this could work right across the country where an organization who's got offices in all the different jurisdictions um, could participate in this and, and get a real good sense of, of what the status is of each of their facilities across the country. And in this particular case, as things unfold with COVID, every province and jurisdiction has different rules. They're all in different states of, of their emergency that they've declared and in different phases. And each of those phases has different rules. So this, this solution can be used to help support that. We configured this, as I said, out of the box. Um, but if you had any other pieces of information that you wanted to configure this dashboard to include maybe as another tab, you can, you can look to do that. Um, you look at the, the COVID-19 dashboard and, and website, hub site that we've got running at Esri Canada. Uh, you could incorporate some of that information into here if that was important for your team and your staff. Um, we're working on um, a piece that one of our, our other colleagues around scheduling people going back to the office and looking at the office space itself and the configuration. So we're looking to include that in this dashboard as well as another tab. So we will be configuring this here in the next week or so. You mentioned deployment. Uh, could you let us know what was involved in setting up this site here? Yeah, so really in, in setting this up, it took a couple hours um, to deploy wow. the solution. And, and the, the, the big thing was just getting our data into it. So the solution, when it gets deployed, all the, the pieces and the components that you need uh, get deployed for you. And there's a couple of uh, templates in there for your personnel and your facilities with the pieces of information it's looking for. And then you just basically pour your data into those and configure the, the solution from there. So it was, it was relatively straightforward. As a manager, uh, why was it important for you uh, to deploy such a solution here? Yeah, I think the biggest thing was just to understand where people are and, and when they're working. As I mentioned, the, the big challenge through all of this has been um, not only working from home, but the fact that a lot of people have their children at home and a lot of people have maybe older family members that they have to help out with, whether it's groceries or picking out medications and they have to take time throughout the business day to do that. Um, so this would allow us to quickly and be able to see this all in one spot for all the personnel within the region. Yeah, looks great. Hey, thanks, Corey. No problem, Desmond.